don't give me all the caveats. Just give me straight up stuff, right? I mean, millions of people are going to listen to this. No pressure. But let's just cut out all the caveats <laughs> and just get straight. So what were some of her less uh, uh, mainstream views, let's say? Um, magic. Um, she can see what um, what's going to happen in the future, things like that. Um, she also has experiences with entities, um, kind of like sleep paralysis. Wait, stuff what, is, what does about. entities mean? I'm not sure. What that means? Shadow, like shadow people, humanoids, um, um, bipedal um, creatures, but with no real facial um, definition to them. Just uh, like a black mass, but a bipedal black mass. Um, bipedal, but yeah, okay. Wait, she just turned 27 and she wants to go get a master's and she wants kids? Um, she wants kids, but really. How, how is she with math, master's. Giorgio? Uh, no, after actually... No, what I meant is that she wants to do her master's first before eventually she wants to have kids, just not now. What do you mean eventually? She's 27. I know. Well, what do you think? uh, I think that uh, I can't tell her what to do. I didn't ask you whether you should tell her what to do. I asked her what you think. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, so I can't really exactly blame her too too much i get it that you know the biological clock is kind of running against her um but and that's what i'm trying to tell her but how about just she's don't just, do stupid she, stuff like we all don't we all need people in her life to say hey man don't do stupid stuff don't go and get a what is it a two-year master's degree when you're 27 and say i'm going to work with kids but i want to have kids and then quit in your early 30s to have kids because that's a huge waste of social resources it's kind of selfish right because she's taking the position of somebody who might be younger who might be male who might not want to have kids and who could actually work like this does not help the autistic children you understand right because okay, she's going to interrupt so. her career in taking care of autistic children to have her own children. And maybe she'll have two. Maybe she'll have three, right? You, you Catholic, maybe you'll have 12. I don't know. And so <laughs> it's not helpful to the autistic children to go and take somebody else's spot who could actually give them more continuous care. So just, I think we all need to be in this tribe called don't do stupid shit. And we need to tell each other that don't do stupid stuff. I mean, I hear this story all the time. You've heard it before on these shows. It's not personal to you. I was home for 20 years. I dealt with this crippling issue and no one ever talked to me about anything. Why? TV was too good. Candy Crush level too enticing. Like, how on earth do you live with people year after year after year and not talk about a single goddamn important thing? Or connect with anyone about anything real? Or notice and act on the fact that people have challenges or issues like it just blows my mind what is everyone doing with their time we have the flappy mouth hole with teeth tongue and voice and we have the two side flaps with ears that we can hear like use them people talk to each other what about your dad does the test to see if he can get away with unreality and if you let him get get away with unreality he's just gonna drive you back to your childhood straight up like that when you when you haven't seen people for a while, of course they're going to oh you know it's you know have you been a, they're going to try and put out these feelers. Can I be around you and have you completely ignore reality? And if they win, then you just dissociate, right? You just lose your reality and your unconscious is like oh fuck now we're back here again. Great, good job. Well, I guess it's because you're supposed to have contact with your parents. Yeah, it's... I wonder who came up with that idea. I wonder if like whoever said. <laughs> You have this magical, horrible voodoo curse unless you have relationships with your parents. Now, yeah. could it be virtuous, good, healthy parents who came up with that? Of course not. Why? Because you don't need to have commandments and guilt in order to spend time around people you respect and love. No, this is an edict created for specifically by and for abusive parents, bullies of children, rapists of children, beaters of children, screamers of children. They come up with this stuff. Oh, I can't provide any value because I'm an asshole, but... Well, it also shows that even if you marry a black woman, you can still be called a racist. Like, it's never... That's what he told me. You're never going to satisfy this. I mean, just stop trying. Stop trying to avoid this label. It doesn't matter what you do. If people feel they can use it as a weapon against you, if people feel that they can get resources or shut you up or feel better, uh, it's a bully word. 
and there's no possibility of a I mean, you marry into a black family, you love a black woman, but you're still a racist. See, it doesn't matter. This is why the term has just become so tragically meaningless and so overexposed that no one can see a damn bit of detail in it anymore. Yeah, there are racists in the world from every race, but if everybody gets called a racist, we can't find anyone who's actually a racist. And it's a terrible, terrible thing to do to a word that should be reserved to outward and obvious racist statements or attitudes. So Recently, if you've seen it or not, there's a growing group of people who are doing experiments and coming forward and stating that the Earth is a flat and motionless plane. That's the expansion? Well, basically. Okay. And uh, so it's <clears throat> it's motionless and it's flat. And do, do they have any idea how thick it is? That's an interesting question. But um, no, like the Russians have dug about eight miles deep and that's as deep as anyone has ever been. Right. And where's the center of gravity? And look, I, 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 I was fine with unusual questions of the next guy. I'm just sort of trying to wrap my head around it again in a non-spherical fashion. Um, and where is the center of gravity in this, uh, on this flat plane? Well, in our motionless plane, there is no need for gravity. We have electromagneticism, attraction between forces that are attracting one another. So is it that we are magnetically attracted to the earth and where magnets not there's no gravity is not part of the equation right? yeah it's an electromagnetic universe not a gravitational universe oh okay so the orb uh, now do we orbit the sun uh no the sun sun stars and moon orbit us okay and mars of course orbits us so it's um yeah, earth-centered the... solar system and the earth is like flat is it round and flat like a dinner plate yes it is, um, it is a circle around the North Pole, around, uh, surrounded by Antarctica, like a pizza dish. You know. So Antarctica is like Saturn's rings around the flat thing, right? So that's the very edge? Yeah, Antarctica is the edge of the world. Right, okay. And so when you fly, when people believe that they're flying around the world, what happens? 